Okay, YouTube, so today we are patching a cheap dry bag. So, it's my dry bag. I've had it for a few years. Tech Sport is the brand name. Yeah, it's a big one. Um, anyway, I think I spent all of $25, $30. In the world of dry bags, it's cheap, but it does the trick. But it's a few years old, and on the last couple trips, I've been getting water inside the bag, and I keep thinking that it's not secured properly on the top, but actually it was. So I filled it with water, and what I found is I'm getting a leak, and if you could look right here, you can see where the fabric pinches, and right where that little fold is, uh, the fabric is just worn down, and uh, I guess the PVC, the vinyl coating, has come off right at the tippy corner and you could see the inside uh, I guess that fiber weave that's inside but anyway when you fill it with water water just pours right out of these corners so this is a tough fix but I've got a method where I believe it works and I'm doing it right now to all my dry bags because even though this is just the one that leaks <laughs> Um, the other three or four are going to be leaking. So, here's what I figured out. Need a tube of this uh, Loctite. This is Marine, Marine Fast Cure Adhesive. And once you clip the top off, you know, you can only use it for so long and then it all clogs up and then you got to dig it out and then eventually it's just too hardened up in there and you can't dig it out. So, what I do is I just jab a hole with a small screwdriver in the side. And I get to the creamy goodness so this is all still good and if I squeeze the handle you know it, it squirts out of there just fine um, here's a roll of flex tape and I like to cut little squares off like this and so the process is I'm going to take a little goober of this stuff here, let's give it a squeeze. Sorry guys, I'm doing this on my phone. Okay, there's a goober. And then you just flick up that goober. And you just push it onto that exposed. And you don't want to use too much. You just want to use enough to Cover that little hole there, and that's plenty. I'll put this back in here to hold it, and then I'm going to take this tape. Oh, where's my scissors? Uh, hang on, I got to go get my scissors. My scissors are inside. I got the scissors and you're going to take a little square of this flex seal material and I like to just cut it about halfway about like that and then I'm going to peel the backing off sorry this is Another one of these tricky jobs. Oh, and before we peel the backing off, one thing if you're going to make a patch, go ahead and cut the hard corners off. They're unnecessary, and all they do is get snagged on stuff and peel your patch off. Okay, so anyway. There we go. We got our patch with a little crease in it. And we're going to take this patch. And we are going to, let's see if I could do this. <laughs> I can't really hold this phone at the same time. 
This is funny. So I just stuck it. You can see where I stuck the patch. Where pretty much the tip is right where the fold in the material is. And I'm going to press it in. Press it down. And then I got this little teepee. I'm going to fold it over. Ah. Okay, and so you squeeze them on there real good. And then that's it. You're done. Now, I'm pretty sure that someone on YouTube, and here's one I already did. Someone on YouTube is always going to tell me that I'm doing it the wrong way and that there's better adhesive and there's better patching material and blah 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 and yeah I know all of that but this is a $25, $30 dry bag and we're doing this down and dirty and it's going to be quick and easy and this is going to work just fine so uh, anyway there you go um, if this doesn't work I'll post another video explaining the fail, but I'm 90 some odd percent sure that we're fine. Alright, anyway, have a good day YouTube.